Hello and welcome to Planted Nutrition. My name is Luke, I'm a nutritionist, and in this video we're talking all about the importance of the time that we eat our food and how that impacts our health. And this is actually a super interesting topic. It's something that a lot of research has been done on in the last kind of 10 years. You've probably heard about things like intermittent fasting and maybe changing the times that we eat. This field of nutrition is actually called chrono nutrition, chrono being to do with time. And this is really interesting because you might've heard of our body's circadian rhythm, which is kind of our body's natural cycle that's controlled by certain areas of our brain, such as giving us a spike of cortisol when we wake up to to get us awake and alert for the day and releasing things like melatonin in the evening to help us fall asleep. And there's a few factors that can influence our circadian rhythm, one of them being light. So you might have heard about the importance of viewing like natural light, for example, in the morning to help set your circadian rhythm and also maybe avoiding things like blue light devices bright lights before bed because that can also interrupt our circadian rhythm and delay the release of melatonin, causing us to have difficulty falling or staying asleep. But another factor that's really important with our circadian rhythm is the time that we eat our food. Yes, nutrition and the time of eating can have an important impact on our circadian rhythm and this has a big effect on our health. And research looking into this at people that were eating late in the night, for example, and had a disrupted circadian rhythm because of it, found that late night eating was associated with excess weight gain and poorer metabolic health. And the idea of this is simple. If we can sync our meal timing with our body's natural rhythm, we can optimize our digestion, nutrient absorption, metabolism, and overall health. So let's talk about some of the benefits of chrononutrition from this recent research. So number one is improved cardiovascular health. So eating in time with our circadian rhythm can help improve our cardiovascular health by helping us to avoid excess weight gain, helping to lower blood pressure and cholesterol, or more importantly, ApoB levels. Studies indicate that circadian rhythm eating and avoiding late night meals can reduce our risk of cardiovascular disease. Number two is weight management. So we've touched on this a little bit, but if you're looking to reach an optimal weight, research has shown that timing our meals correctly, particularly shifting our calorie consumption towards earlier in the day, can aid in weight loss and also maintenance of a healthy weight. And there was an interesting study that looked at people using an app to help them sync their meal timings with the circadian rhythm. And they found these participants experienced better weight loss. And a reason for this may be because if we eat earlier in the day, we're going to be getting these calories from our food, but we're going to be using them as we move throughout the day. Our brain uses a lot of calories as we focus and complete tasks, but also if we're walking, moving, exercising, doing sport, we're going to be using these calories. Whereas if we're eating later in the day, imagine having a big meal late at night before bed, we're going to bed right after. We're not going to be using these calories. And so there's more chance of them being stored as body fat, for example. And there may be other reasons why this is important as well, like disruption of sleep, creating more stress. So it's definitely a complicated topic. There's a lot of ongoing research that's gonna help us deeper understand the effects that this has on our body. And diabetes management and metabolic health. And consuming meals earlier in the day can help us to have better blood sugar control because our body is more primed and ready to deal with our food. And especially if we're having like healthy balanced meals, so we're not having like a big spike of blood sugar from a highly processed breakfast, if we're having a balanced meal, it's also gonna help provide us longer lasting sustained energy throughout the day. If you wanna learn more about creating balanced meals and improving your energy with nutrition, check out this video where I teach you all about how to do that. And so now let's touch on what should a day of chrononutrition or eating in alignment with our circadian rhythm look like. So it's basically eating in alignment with when we're awake but also not eating too early or too late. It's a bit like if you've heard of intermittent fasting, having this kind of eating window, but we don't need to be super strict about it. So having something like a 10 to 12 hour eating window throughout the day is generally pretty good. So that could be getting up, having breakfast at 8 a.m. and having our lunch at our normal time 
and just having dinner before 8 p.m. So that's our 12 hour window. And making sure we're not eating later after 8 p.m. having snacks or anything like that. So again, having a balanced meal that's got a good amount of protein, healthy fats, complex carbohydrates that's gonna give us energy that we don't feel cravings and feeling like we're needing to snack or anything like that. And if you wanna go for like a 10 hour window, that could be delaying breakfast a little bit later, maybe eating at 10 a.m. to start, finishing at 8 p.m. Or shifting that earlier in the day, starting at 8 a.m. for example, finishing at 6 p.m. It's important to be flexible with this and have a bit of a play with it and find what works for you. But the kind of key thing is, we're just generally wanting to avoid eating too late into the night, giving ourselves a bit of a rest after our final meal before we go to bed. So we're setting our circadian rhythm up for success and hopefully sleep better as well. And so I just wanna to touch on like a couple of issues that come up with this as well for different people. Number one is breakfast skipping. And I know I personally struggle with this because when I do this pattern of eating, I generally like, okay, I don't really feel hungry in the morning. So I eat my breakfast late, but then I eat my lunch late and then I eat my dinner late. And I know a lot of other people struggle with this as well, but as we've talked about, the research on this show is probably eating earlier in the day is better for our health. So we really wanna try and start our eating window earlier. Like I said, 8 a.m., 10 a.m., for example, and finish 6 p.m., 8 p.m., giving ourselves a few hours before bed after eating. And another one is obviously this can be difficult if you're doing shift work or rolling shift work especially. You can still work within your constraints to create the best routine that you can. Obviously, it's not gonna be ideal. Shift work isn't ideal for our circadian rhythms, but there may be times in life where we have to do that. So just don't beat yourself up about it. Just try and find as much rhythm and routine as you can but also don't stress about trying to stick to some regimen like this if that just doesn't work for you in your life right now. And there's also individual differences. These are called chronotypes and the research has shown that there might be people and they even call them like night owls or early birds. So you might be a night owl. You might prefer sleeping later, waking up later, eating later, or you might be an early bird. You might prefer eating earlier, sleeping earlier and eating earlier. So it's important to know that we all are different. And so this is really getting in touch with your body, how you feel, what works best for you, not what works best for someone else, because this can affect us all differently. So getting in touch with what works for you, you might like to start eating a bit earlier, a bit later, but have a play with it, have some fun. It's not too serious and figure out what works best for you. Are you an early bird or are you a night owl? Let me know in the comments down below. And so chrononutrition is literally just eating in alignment with our body's circadian rhythm. A lot of us probably eat quite late into the night so we could do better by sh shifting that in a little bit earlier so we're not eating straight before we're going to sleep. It's getting in touch with our body's natural rhythm. It can help with a whole lot of health benefits potentially but it can also potentially just help us to sleep better, especially to maintain a healthy weight if we're eating calories earlier in the day. While there's still more research to be done on this, it's definitely an interesting tool to have in your toolbox in your journey to optimum health. I've been Luke from Planted Nutrition. If you do need further support with your nutrition, I offer nutrition consultations, which you can learn more about at the link in the description. Otherwise, enjoy all of the free content on this channel. Hope this has helped you. If it has, feel free to leave a like as it really helps me out in the YouTube algorithms. Until next time, stay healthy, my friends, and I'll see you again soon.